I hope you're paying attention here to this offering because the 205 liter uh, is undoubtedly as deep as it gets. And uh, you know, if we went into every sale group with a litter this deep, uh, we would need a, a fraction of the sows we have running around here because this is a, a very high quality, very, very deep litter of pigs. And uh, you know, genetically, there's plenty of reasons why they're good. Uh, top side, they're then and now. Uh, again, then and now is the, the Hofschulte boar. Uh, he's an in-game hero, dirty secret. And uh, honestly, is, is you know, first crop, we've been nothing short of impressed and very, very pleased with uh, how those pigs have fed. Uh, they found the backdrop. And uh, in fact, uh, Hofschulte's bought a boar there at Expo. Uh, that sold here as a, as a baby pig and uh, was shown there at Expo and ended up back in Hoff uh boar lineup. Mother of the 205s, I think, is where some of the intrigue comes in for me. Uh, this sow is a 62 litter, which makes her a JoJo kingpin curtain call. Uh, her grandmother here would be a 15 litter kingpin. Um, Great grandmother would be uh, one of the curtain call sows that sold in 21. Uh, tremendous sow stuff here on the bottom side. If you paid any attention to our sow sale this summer, uh, the 15s and, and what they've done in the industry uh, for, for several breeders now uh, is nothing short of amazing. Uh, we kept one there a little bit longer than, than the other ones that sold as mature gilts. And 15.4 uh, would be the grandmother of this one. So uh, we've got three of these 62 litter sows. They're going to make their mark. We're keeping a son out of 62.12. Uh, he's an absolute. Uh, these are out of 62.11. Uh, dig in here on the 62 or on the 205s. Phenomenal litter. Uh, tremendous upside genetically. And, uh, and certainly hope that you find uh, the value here phenotypically uh, in, a, in a very, very deep litter of pigs. Well, my first thought here is um, just knowing traditionally the way these Walton videos usually always get watched. It's usually always on sale night. Um, you know, when the buyer is trying to figure out which ones they're going to ultimately land on and, and try and pursue. And um, I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you probably tried to buy his brothers. Um, and if you're scrolling down to this one as the next option, um, I'm going to tell you, don't get weak here. Um, I've said always and often that out of these good deep litters, you've always got to make sure you've got at least one of them. Um, and, you know, this one might have as much upside as any of them um, and just a different type of package. Um, he's a later maturing one with, with an incredible look up front. Um, out of the back of his shoulder, he opens up as broad and wide and just immature um, in spots um, compared to the rest of the litter. Uh, man, I think this thing's ceiling is, is next level good. Um, he's got the same kind of skeleton, the same kind of mobility that his brothers have got. He's a later maturing package with probably more look um, than the rest of the litter. Um, so loose and so flexible. He's on the corners behind. Um, Hampshire belted to boot with it. Um, you know, again, <laughs> this litter has been, ver been uh, very, very, very good. Um, you know, this one might be as... Um, again, I guess if you want to call them a sleeper pick, you can, but there's not much sleeping about this one. I think this one's elite, very good pig, awesome looking, loose made, no real problems, just getting fed. I think you'll be very, very happy. Good pig here in this other 205.